Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, this is Galaxy S5 Mini ROM version 6. And with this version, we're getting two flavors. We're getting a black version and a white version. So uh, let's do the clean install, and I'm going to install the ROM, and, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, we're back with the Galaxy S5 mini ROM version 6 black edition uh, so I already installed this uh, let me go ahead and, and you see the weather widget from the S5 searching for my location so uh, coming to settings Change it to Fahrenheit with the transparency. There you go to a hundred. Okay, so uh, I explained this on the other on the other video, but yeah, if you want to install widgets, uh, there's two ways to do it. Uh, you get a long press on an empty spot on your home screen and you get this uh, menu here where you select widgets and uh, you can see all the widgets that you could uh, install and the other way is uh, just like on a S5 so you could just pinch in and you get the menu and on version 5 this wasn't working so uh, right now you get a Select the, the wallpaper you want. I'll choose this one. Set wallpaper. And uh, as you see, it I did it. Uh, you got all, all the the S5 colors. Got the toggles, you know, uh, like on previous versions. If you want to uh, to enable the 25 toggles, just come over here and uh, you know select the ones you want. And I always, you know, always uh, choose this arrangement. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you have the 25 toggles here. Uh, uh, it does have the the magazine from swiping from uh, left to right. Let me see again. There they go. So just like on the S5, and uh, if you swipe from the bottom, you're gonna get this menu. You know, it's like a strip, but if you select this, and it'll take you to to whatever you choose. And it does, as you can see, it does have the the Note 3 browser for the smart stay, smart scroll. And uh. It doesn't have all the apps on version five, but it, you know, other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. It just it doesn't have as much a uh, bloatware as the previous versions. And you know, let me do this. I always place it on alphabetical order since it's easier. And uh, and I think we. Uh, but the easiest way to check this is uh, by coming in here. If you, if you see slow motion, yeah, we got the Note 2 camera. And uh, yeah, camera is working. And, you know, it seems to be uh, pretty fast. And I'm definitely going to give this one, you know, I'm going to 
I'm gonna be rolling with this one for a few days to see if uh, if it stands up. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, you're probably gonna see the the white version of this first. And since you know I'm I'm real big on battery life, I'm probably gonna use this one more since uh, it doesn't have the white menu, and it's supposed you know it it won't drain your battery as much. And uh, on the last screen, you know, I, I've had uh, a few uh, questions before. You get the watercolor. Let's try that one. See? Oh, you can see it. And uh, you get the the ripple with you know when you choose the color and under light effect what you're gonna get is the bubble effect from the S5 see and let me go over here and do this before I forget uh, security I know devices and uh, about device, as we come over here. And remember, I have this modem, baseband version. That means the modem. Uh, I'm using that modem because you know it's the one that you know works better for me. But the ROM doesn't include a modem. There's a link on the XDA uh, forum that you can uh, download a a modem. But uh, remember that if you're coming from another version. And uh, let me see, USB debugging. And uh, you know, we get the folders just like on the S5. As you can see here, it's kind of a, a light blue, right? But if you press on this, the little three dots on the side, you can change the color. And uh, let me see what else I could show you. Yeah, on version five. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the last video. We were not getting the transparent uh, status bar on this one. We get that right out of the box. So uh, I think this it includes uh, the exposed installer, but it's uh, if you want to run the uh, X battery dimmer, if you want to change the, the the way the battery icon looks. And uh, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flash. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flash uh, my my mod. You know, with it changes a few things and a few of the icons. And another thing I noticed, uh, we are not getting the extended power menu that we got on version five, where uh, we had the recovery option here and the screenshot. Now, if you want to uh, reboot into recovery. And you swipe down and look for the reboot menu select recovery and click where it says uh reinitiar and uh it'll boot you up into recovery and uh and like i said you know it's you know it says pretty fast let's look at uh the ram usage uh go to general application manager And let's uh, swipe to the right and go to uh, see. You, 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 we're using uh, seven, about seven twenty-four, twenty-eight right now. You know that's a lot. You know, and and that's probably because of the the Samsung account and all that. And that's why I usually, you know, I usually erase all of that. I'm gonna show you uh, a way to do that, but first. Uh, Give me a few seconds while I flash uh, my mod and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I just flashed uh, my mod. As you can see, uh, you get a new uh, Wi-Fi icon. You also get a new uh, uh, carrier signal icon. I changed the age so you get a 4G 
and the H plus do you get 4G LTE and uh, I'll show a picture on your screen right now and uh, after you see the picture uh, you see the new the new toggles I made and uh, they look a little bit different from the stock ones you get the little ring around them and uh, now that you've seen that uh, I want to talk to you about uh, how to remove, you know, if you want to remove uh, additional apps.